Good morning, welcome back. They're asking me now to find the midpoint of a particular line segment. What does that mean? They give me two coordinates yeah, and the line segment connecting those two points. Yeah, and then the question is, what is the coordinate of the point exactly in the middle of that line segment? Yeah? What is the midpoint? Now again, they'll give me a formula to, to calculate that, but just you know, let's have a look what is actually going on, because then we don't have to remember those formulas. So what did I do? I draw for you the two coordinates already and the line segment. Yeah? So coordinate 1 was 2, 1. That's 2, 1. And the other coordinate was 6, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. So these are the two coordinates they give to me. And they're asking me now, what is the coordinate, what is the midpoint of this line segment? Now just by looking at it, what is roughly in the middle? That's somewhere over here. I hope you realize that. And let's just measure that. Yeah, I know this is not calculating, yeah, but just for us to understand. I'm measuring this, and for me this is exactly 5 centimeters. Yeah? So in the middle that would be 2.5 over there. So if I would measure it, that is the midpoint. Now let me write that down. That would be the midpoint. However, we have to calculate it because that is, of course, far more accurate than if I measure it with a ruler. Yeah? Okay, now let's have a look. What is the length of this side? Yeah? Because I created a right angle triangle again. What is the length of that side? Well, it's one, two, three, four blocks long. Yeah? So the horizontal length yeah, is four yeah? from six to two in the x direction. So that is four blocks long. And the vertical length of my right angle triangle it goes from 4 to 1, so that is 3 blocks. Eh? Let me see, 1, 2, 3, yeah, that's it, 3 blocks. Okay, now if I look at the horizontal length, it's 4 long. So what is the middle of 4? What is the midpoint? That is after 2 steps, isn't it? That's the middle. Okay, and vertically it's 3 long. What lies in the middle of 3? So that would be 1.5 steps okay and as you can see over there it is actually will bring me to my midpoint okay now the midpoint you have to give it as a coordinate and if I look what is the coordinate of this point that will be at 4 yeah so the x coordinate is 4 comma and the y coordinate will be one, two, and a half. Okay, so the answer is four, two and a half. And I found that answer just by simply, yeah, by drawing it and by having a proper look. Yeah, but your book uh, will tell you a different way of doing it uh, yeah, to properly calculate it. And um, that is uh, relatively easy because what do you do? You plus the two x coordinates, so that will be two plus six. And then what lies in the middle, yeah, so you have to divide it by 2. So 2 plus 6, that will be 8, divided by 2. So the x coordinate is 4. Let's put a big x there in front. I do the same for the y coordinate, which is 4 plus 1. And what lies exactly in the middle of that, so I divide it by 2. 5 divided by 2, which is 2 and a half. So the coordinate of my midpoint is four, two and a half. So if you like, you take the mean of your two x coordinates and the mean of your two y coordinates. So the answer four, two and a half, which is the same if I would have just drawn it, yeah, and just by looking, okay, so what lies in the middle here? Yeah, that's over there, that's after two steps. What lies in the middle here? That's over there, so it's after one and a half steps. I got the same answer. Okay, so that's to prove to you that that's the way to do it. You add the two x coordinates divided by 2 to find the y coordinate of your midpoint. You add the two y coordinates and you divide it by 2. So the answer is 4, 2.5. Now let's have a look at some more example questions in the next videos, yeah, which you really should try to do yourself first before looking at my workings. Good luck.